And one of the most damaging manifestations of this problem has been the use of hotels to meet our statutory obligation to house those who arrive illegally but would otherwise be destitute. Ever since the Prime Minister, the Home Secretary and I assumed office one year ago, we have made it clear that this was completely unacceptable and must end as soon as practicable. These hotels should be assets for their local communities, serving businesses and tourists, hosting the life events that we treasure like weddings and birthdays, not housing illegal migrants at unsustainable cost to the taxpayer. So we took immediate action a year ago to reduce our reliance on hotels. We significantly increased the amount of dispersed accommodation and have increased funding for local councils. We reformed the management of the existing estate through optimising double rooms and increasing the number of people room sharing. We have created thousands of additional beds and in doing so avoided the need for a further 72 hotels. We have mobilised the large disused military sites that are more appropriate and worked closely with local authorities to ensure that they are less impactful on communities. And we are in the process of re-embarking the barge at Portland. As of the 23rd of October, occupancy reached approximately 50 individuals. This will continue as planned in a phased manner in the days and weeks ahead. And nearly a year on, as a result of the progress we have made to stop the boats, I can inform the House that today the Home Office wrote to local authorities and MPs to inform them that we will now be exiting the first asylum hotels, hotels in all four nations of the UK. The first 50 of these exits will begin in the coming days and will be complete by the end of January, with more tranches to follow shortly. But we will not stop there. We will continue to deliver on our strategy to stop the boats, and we will be able to exit more hotels. And as we exit these hotels, we are putting in place dedicated resource to facilitate the orderly and effective management of this process and limit the impact on local communities. Madam Deputy Speaker, we made a clear commitment to the British public to stop the boats, not because it would be easy, but because it was and remains the right thing to do. We are making solid progress, and our commitment to this task is as strong as ever. We will continue acting in the interests of the law-abiding majority who expect and deserve secure borders. I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.